This is the pinnacle of our imagination. The majesty we envisioned is right here before your very eyes. This is our take on Singapore's methods of energy conservation in 2050. The school we built features a number of impressive and charming infrastructure. This is its main attraction, a large scale model of the transportation system enduring 2050. Instead of using diesel that will require greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, this train uses basic principles of magnetic repulsion, allowing a quick and efficient commute throughout the campus. Next, this thermoelectric generator of two parts, one here on the roof and the other one in the staff room, provides renewable energy to the school by making use of converting heat flux directly into electrical energy through a phenomenon called the Seebeck effect. We preserved the element of nature in a filtration system made out of flowers above the classrooms. The first layer of filtration systems are flowers that can convert rainwater to clean water. The clean water will then pass through a layer of soil into the filtrate collection basin. These pipes will bring the clean water to other parts of the school for miscellaneous usage. This saves the amount of energy and money spent by the school as the renewable source of water will allow the school to avoid excessive spending on utilities. As you know, canteens are often quite noisy. The sound energy produced by the students can be converted into electrical energy that can be used around the school using this device called the transducer. Beyond the bounds of convention, we thought of ways to create energy instead of only preserving it. In the school gym, students can enjoy exercising on energy producing bicycles that can convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. Lastly, the classrooms are built with infrared sensors that will track how many people has walked in and walked out to ensure that the lights automatically turn off when no one is present. There are parts of the campus that has nothing to do with energy conservation, but we thought the library, dorms and classrooms would be the facilities primarily incorporating the technologies of the future. There are four other methods of conserving energy already mentioned in our last century. Solar panels, pressure plates on the roads, rain collectors and auto farming has already been explained and elaborated in our previous entry. Thank you.